It's been only months since Apple launched the 2023 iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro models. But as is typical with rumors, people are already looking to the 2024 iPhone 16 lineup. The iPhone 16 will bring notable changes to the iPhone lineup, with Apple expected to increase the size of the iPhone 16 Pro to 6.3 inches and the size of the iPhone 16 Pro Max to 6.9 inches, marking the first size upgrade in several years. The size changes will be limited to the iPhone 16 Pro models, with the iPhone 16 models to stay the same size as the iPhone 15 models. While the iPhone 16 models won't get bigger, they will get some minor design tweaks thanks to extra buttons. But for the most part, both the standard iPhone 16 models and the Pro models will look like the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro models. Apple is designing new A-series chips for the iPhone 16 lineup, built on the latest N3e 3 nanometer node. We could see some improvements to efficiency and performance, but we haven't yet heard details on just what we can expect. The iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro could use different chips, with the higher-end chip limited to the Pro models. The action button that was limited to the iPhone 15 Pro models will expand to all four iPhone 16 models in 2024. And the iPhone 16 lineup is also said to have a new capture button that's used for taking photos and videos. The capture button will work like the shutter button on a digital camera, detecting multiple levels of pressure for focusing and then capturing an image. For the iPhone 16 models, Apple is planning a new vertical camera lens arrangement that is a departure from the prior diagonal lens setup. The new orientation will presumably allow the standard iPhone 16 models to capture spatial video for the Vision Pro headset. Apple is also expected to bring the Tetraprism 5X optical zoom lens to the iPhone 16 Pro, so it may not be limited to just the iPhone 16 Pro Max this year. This roundup features all of the rumors about the iPhone 16 lineup that we've heard so far. There are still several months to go before a launch is expected, so there is plenty of time for Apple to change its plans. Let's start by talking about the iPhone 16 design. Apple tested several designs for the standard iPhone 16 models, but ultimately decided on a vertically aligned camera system with a pill-shaped camera bump. Prior iPhones have used a square-shaped camera bump to accommodate the diagonal lenses, but Apple is able to slim down the camera bump with the new lens arrangement. The pill-shaped bump houses the separate wide and ultra-wide lenses. The microphone will be next to the lenses, while the camera flash will be located on the back of the device outside of the bump. On the left side of the iPhone, Apple plans to replace the mute switch with the action button, and the iPhone 16 models will adopt the same button that was introduced with the iPhone 15 Pro models. The volume buttons will be located below the action button. The right side of the device will feature a new capture button, which will be located where the Emmerman Wave antenna has been on prior iPhone models in the US. Apple plans to move the Memmerman Wave antenna to the bottom left side of the iPhone 16. Aside from the new vertical lens arrangement and the capture button, the iPhone 16 models will have the same general design as the iPhone 15 models with no notable changes to body shape or size. The iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are expected to have larger display sizes, according to multiple sources. The iPhone 16 Pro will have a display that's 6.27 inches in size, rounded to 6.3, while the iPhone 16 Pro Max is expected to have a display that's 6.85 inches in size, rounded to 6.9. With the increase in display size, the dimensions of the iPhone's body will also increase. Both models are expected to be taller and wider than the iPhone 15 Pro models. And while thickness will remain the same, the weight will increase slightly due to the larger size. General shape and design will not be updated. We are not expecting size changes for the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus, and these devices will be the same size as the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus. The iPhone 16 OLED panels could use micro lens technology for both improved brightness and and reduced power consumption. 
Microlens Arrays, or MLA, uses a uniform pattern of billions of lenses inside the panel to reduce internal reflection. The reflected light increases perceived brightness without increasing power consumption. The OLED displays that used in the iPhone 16 lineup will be more power efficient thanks to improved materials. Apple plans to add two new buttons to the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus, one that will replace the mute switch and one that's entirely new. The iPhone 15 Pro models include an action button, and in 2024, the action button is expected to be expanded to the standard iPhone 16 models. The action button used across the iPhone 16 lineup will be identical to the iPhone 15 Pro action button. The action button, which replaces the traditional mute switch, can perform multiple functions such as activating the flashlight, turning on the camera, launching a shortcut, enabling or disabling a focus mode, using translate, turning on off silent mode, and more. The extra capture button is located on the same side of the iPhone as the power button in the space that is occupied by the 5G millimeter wave antenna in the United States. With the addition of this button, the emamine wave cutout has been relocated to the left side of the device below the volume buttons. While the button is expected to be mechanical rather than capacitive, the information says that it will be able to respond to pressure and touch. iPhone users will be able to zoom in and out by swiping left and right on the button, focus with a light press, and activate a recording with a more forceful press. The capture button will be available on all four iPhone 16 models, and it will be used for taking photos and videos. The iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus are expected to use an A17 chip, but rumors suggest it won't be the same A17 Pro chip that's in the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. Apple is using TSMC's N3B process for the iPhone 17 Pro chip, but next year will use the lower cost N3E process for the standard A17 that's in the works. N3B is TSMC's original three nanometer node created in partnership with Apple, while N3E is a more affordable node that has a lower transistor density, lower efficiency, and a higher yield. Apple does not typically design chips specifically for the standard iPhone models, with the devices either using the same chips as the Pro models or adopting the chip from the prior year's iPhone models. With the iPhone 15, for example, the device used the A16 chip that was previously introduced in the iPhone 14 Pro. While one rumor has suggested Apple will call the chip used in the standard iPhone 16 models the A17, Analyst Jeff Poo believes Apple will instead use A18 and A18 Pro naming, with all iPhone 16 models featuring some kind of A18 series chip. Poo believes all of the chips will use the N3E manufacturing process, and the Pro chips could perhaps have an extra GPU core not available in the standard chips. The next generation A18 chip that's planned for the iPhone 16 Pro models could feature an upgraded neural engine with significantly more cores, allowing for improved AI machine learning performance. The iPhone 16 models are expected to include a new thermal design that will combat overheating. Apple is said to be working on a graphene thermal system for the iPhone 16 models. And the iPhone 16 Pro models may also include a metal battery casing that will improve heat dissipation. Graphene has higher thermal conductivity than the copper that's used in iPhone heat sinks. The standard iPhone 16 models could be upgraded with 8 GB of RAM, up from 6 GB in the iPhone 15 models. That would see all four iPhone 16 models offering 8 GB of RAM. The iPhone 16 Pro models could be equipped with Qualcomm's Snapdragon X75 modem, allowing for faster and more efficient 5G connectivity. According to Qualcomm, the X75 offers improved carrier aggregation, plus the combined sub-6 GHz and MMWave 5G transceiver takes up 25% less circuit board space and uses up to 20% less power. Qualcomm's X75 supports the 5G Advanced, with AI and machine learning enhancements for 5G improvements, so Apple could market the iPhone 16 Pro models as having 5G Advanced connectivity. The standard iPhone 16 models are expected to use Qualcomm's X70 chip, which is the chip that was already used in the iPhone 15 models. Apple is working to develop its own modem chip and antenna setup to eliminate its dependence on Qualcomm. But Apple's modem chips are not expected to be ready to debut in 2024. 
Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo believes that Apple-designed modem chips will come out in 2025. Ming-Chi Kuo believes the iPhone 16 Pro models could adopt the net generation Wi-Fi 7 technology, which is expected to provide speeds of at least 30 gigabits per second and could hit up to 40 gigabits per second. Wi-Fi 7 is also able to use 320 megahertz channels and supports 4K quadrature amplitude modulation, QM technology, ultimately providing up to 2.4x faster speeds than Wi-Fi 6 with the same number of antennas. Wi-Fi 7 will ultimately provide faster maximum transfer speeds, lower latency, and more reliably connectivity. While Wi-Fi 7 could be limited to the iPhone 16 Pro models, the standard iPhone 16 models could get an upgrade to Wi-Fi 6E, which supports the 6 GHz Wi-Fi band. Right now, Wi-Fi 6S is limited to the iPhone 15 Pro models. Apple will transition to USB-C technology with the iPhone 15 lineup, and it's also expected to be used for the iPhone 16 models. With iOS 18, Apple is rumored to be introducing new Siri features powered by large language models, and some of the cutting-edge generative AI features could be limited to the iPhone 16 models. According to details shared by a leaker, iOS 18 will bring many of the new LLM features to all iPhones, but on-device AI features could remain exclusive to the iPhone 16. iOS 18's updated AI functionality could include improved interactions between Siri and the Messages app, auto-generated Apple Music playlists, integration with productivity apps for AI-assisted content creation, and more. The iPhone 16 models are expected to feature an improved microphone that will accompany the AI-enhanced Siri experience. The microphone will have improved water resistance and a better signal-to-noise ratio that will improve the Siri experience significantly, according to Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo. The iPhone 16 Pro models could include an improved 48-megapixel ultra-wide lens, which would allow improved images in lower lighting conditions. It would likely function like the 48-megapixel wide camera, which uses pixel binning to combine the data from four pixels into one super pixel for better image quality. The 48-megapixel wide-angle camera used in the iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature an eight-part hybrid lens with two glass elements and six plastic elements, along with improvements for the telephoto and ultra-wide camera lenses. The standard iPhone 16 models are expected to have a vertical camera layout that's similar to the camera layout used in the iPhone 12. Apple has used a diagonal layout for the iPhone 13 and iPhone 14, but the swap is expected to allow for spatial video recording using the ultra-wide and wide cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max could feature a super telephoto periscope camera for a dramatically increased optical zoom. The information comes from a Weibo account that has provided accurate information in the past, but it has not yet been backed up by a second reliable source. Super or ultra telephoto usually describes cameras with a focal length of over 300 millimeters. The current telephoto lens is equivalent to a 77 millimeter lens. So if accurate, there could be a notable increase in zoom capabilities. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.